Hi folks, Torpedo Heat here. Today we're going to make you a video on photo cells. It's also called a CAD cell, flame sensor, light sensor. What a photo cell does is it senses the light inside the heater from the, from the light from the flames and then that tells the heater that yeah we have fire and that allows the heater to continue to run. If you have a bad photo cell your heater will start and then shut right off. Okay so um, we have here a PP216, it's a super common photo cell. Uh, all these are super common and that works. The PP216 works for a, a DESA heater with a spark plug. Okay, here's a, a M16656-24, also known as a PP236, and that works with a DESA heater with a hot surface igniter. Okay, and then you've got a SPKFA1007. Uh, with the Pinnacle product, GHP uses them, Master Pro Temp, Ready, Remington, the direct drive silent heaters. Uh, that, that photo cell has a, um, a little plug on it and it plugs on and off the circuit board. So anyway, we have to use a meter for this and right now we have the meter set to ohms and it's not a perfect meter so it's reading 4 ohms which is virtually nothing but it's the decimal point is right there I don't know how well this camera can see it so I'm going to be continually showing you where the decimal point is the decimal point is right there so you have 4.12 ohm 13 uh, right now so let's start with the um, PP216 the DESA spark plug uh, photo cell we'll take that out stretch that out plug into there remember our, our, our meter set to ohms to read the resistance of something okay so now we got that hooked up as you can see and that with no no light to it just the light that's coming into that from the room as you can see just that light is reading 42 point zero something ohms it's right around 42 41 there's the decimal point right there so it's 40.6 right now okay now we got a flashlight or two but we're going to show you first the flashlight that looks like the color of fire see that okay so we'll put that flashlight on there and that thing shoots up shoots up way up high in the ohms um, trying to make sure I got a good connection. It had 190 there. It had 190. Okay, so the decimal point is right there. So it shot up uh, about 150 ohms thereabouts. Now we also have another flashlight that is a, a, a blue light. It's an LED, the old trusty crank them up flashlight give us some juice there and as you can see that flashlight is a different color from that flashlight that one is the color of fire that one is a blue color okay so we're gonna shine the 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 blue flashlight in the hole put that in there and it goes to nothing okay point eight five the decimal point is right there so that means it's actually less light um, having a blue light okay and we'll show you the other one again and and it goes way up I do have one one ohm okay with the other light you automatically jump up to almost 170 okay there's 172 and uh, it would keep climbing it would keep going up okay so now you're back down to your 40 ohms, 30, 30 ohms, let, it, let that sit still, 50 ohms. They bounce around a lot. That's what a photo cell does. If I put my finger over that hole, okay, where there's no light, right now there's no light getting inside that photo cell, and it dropped down to 1.5 ohms, okay, so there's, there's no light. Take my finger off the light, off the photo cell. The light from the room 
is giving me 30 ohms. So basically, as you can see, it's a light sensor and it doesn't sense the blue light. Okay, it will sense the other flashlight, which is which is uh, closer to the color of fire, and it's bright enough to make the the photo cell think there's fire in there. Okay, so that's the uh, PP216. Unhook them there. Unhook there. Let's go with the uh, PP236. That was the PP216. Now we're going to go with the PP236. Plug that in. Plug that in. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to cover it up with my finger. Very little ohms. 1.3, 1.2. Okay, very little ohms. Nothing. Take my finger off. We go up to 5. Okay, now we're going to take our, our fire colored flashlight and it automatically goes up to 212 ohms. The decimal point is right there 214.5, 213 213.9. Okay, so it's around 213 ohms. Okay, and then with the uh, the blue light old trusty here this one saved me a lot of times with the blue light flashlight stick that on there and it goes back down to one point something so in actuality the blue light flashlight this light doesn't it's not the color of fire that makes it less color than less light than the photo cell wants okay so you have to have the right tools to test these photo cells because otherwise it won't it won't read it properly now um we're going to go with this pinnacle uh photo cell here and see what the readings were on this one This one's hard to connect to. I'll try to hold it. Mm, looks connected. Okay. 19.6.7. When I cover it up and cover the hole so no light can get in there. goes way up high and with light in there so this one we're going to put our fire colored on there and I must not have it connected properly it did for a second there it shot up there these connectors are hard to deal with but um, what it's doing from what I can see is um, the same thing as the other photo cells okay so it's not um, it's not doing anything different I've got a, a reading here for a second and uh, it did jump up to where it, it, it normally should be so basically as you can see all the photo cells do the same thing as far as electrically um, they tell the heater you know we got fire and it works all within certain parameters so if in an emergency you had to use a different photo cell then it would work you know um, if you were to want to purchase a photo cell and Put it on your heater because it was a cheaper photo cell it would work okay now this photo cell with the uh, two blue wires on it and the two connectors it doesn't matter which way they connect up this photo cell for the hot surface igniter goes to a circuit board 
okay we got a train going by it goes to a circuit board and you don't ever want to disconnect this photo cell from the circuit board even though it's a new fo uh, photo cell with with wires you take and, and uh, cut the wires and put them back together that way because it's not gonna um, it's gonna damage your circuit board and it's not gonna work okay now I think this is a uh, a bad photo cell here. Let me make sure I got a good connection there. Okay, now see that? I, I'm squeezing it a little bit, so I know I got a good connection. It's reading 3.36 ohms, which is virtually nothing. And I put my finger on it, and it goes up to 3.4. Okay got a good connection there there's the decimal point right there so you got 3.46 ohms and it's not fluctuating okay there's the fire colored flashlight put that on there it only went from 3.4 to 3.5 okay and we know that the blue colored flashlight actually makes the photo cell think that there's no light at all we'll put that on there and it doesn't move okay so you get no electrical readings out of a photo cell that that doesn't work okay and you don't get that fluctuation and it doesn't it doesn't tell the heater that yeah we got fire and that we can keep running now these photo cells will also work on home heaters if you can get it to to plug in some of them have funny plugs where you you'll just never get it to work but a photo cell is a photo cell and they all work within pretty much the same parameters um, some furnaces do have blue flame wherein a flashlight like this the photo cell would actually read that because the system works in reverse it makes it think that there's no light so then that's way some of those those actually work so then the fact that there is a flame makes it think that there is no light it's uh that's true and I know it sounds funny but it's true so photo cells can work either direction these photo cells give you more resistance with light and a, another photo cell might give you less resistance with light so it's 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 not that strange of a thing so anyway folks we think uh, we're about through here um, as you saw, all the readings were close enough to each other where you could use any photo cell that you, that you needed to. And, and I always recommend that you cut the wires to install a photo cell, uh, except for the uh, SPKFA 1007, which has the uh, little white plug on the end of it. You just unplug it and plug it in on the circuit board. But yeah, always cut your wires. That way you don't damage any of the circuit board component components and everything is all good so uh, you know you can get all these parts at torpedoheatparts.com or you can give them a call and they'll definitely lead you in the right direction uh, no matter what your heater is if it's old or new it doesn't matter we deal with them all so anyway follow like share uh, all that stuff you know the old uh, YouTube spiel and once again, thanks for watching, folks. Bye.